snow. We're tracking that storm. Yeah, brought copious amounts of snow mm -hmm. to parts of the lower Midwest. Mm -hmm. Baltimore and Washington upping their snowfall expectancy as we head into the day tomorrow, possibly up to 10 inches of snow in D.C. And the storm, the model's reflecting, it's looking a little bit more potent, and it certainly has quite a bit of moisture. So it's something we're going to be keeping an eye on. Our high temperatures today definitely reflecting. We have this cold Arctic air mass in place. Certainly supportive of snowfall. Our high temperature 34 degrees in Philadelphia. That's it. Same case in the Lehigh Valley. The shore we only topped at 33 degrees today in Wildwood. Getting a live look at Center City, Philadelphia. Nothing falling just yet, but this time tomorrow may have some of that white stuff on the ground and temperatures right now. We're at 34 in Philly, 32 in Wilmington, 31 in Dover, 30 degrees in Millville. So all these numbers supportive of snowfall. You can see these winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories stretching back into parts of the lower Midwest off to our south and west. Washington, D.C., Baltimore under a winter storm warning. We have that winter weather advisory in effect for Philadelphia, South Jersey, some PA suburbs, and then a winter storm warning is in effect for central and southern Delaware. Delaware as we head late into tomorrow night. Storm scan three showing us this huge system. Lots of snow falling right now from the Virginias back into Ohio, portions of Illinois, and that snow is going to lift up into our area, and it's really doing so as we speak. But the snow event has begun in and around the D.C. area with some heavy snow already starting to fall. The snow beginning in Baltimore, and it will be begin for us as we head into the next couple of hours. Storm scan three showing us some returns already trying to build in already. Not all of this hitting the ground, but especially where we see some of these darker returns just to the south and west of the city could have a few flakes already flying in and around the Chester area up into West Goshen and the Marple area. But we'll start to see more uniform snowfall beginning, especially as we head into the eight o'clock hour overnight tonight. Temperatures falling back into the mid to upper 20s. So likely overnight tonight, it will be that light fluffy snow and then potentially get a little bit heavier as temperatures push near the freezing mark and even surpass it as we head into the day tomorrow. So what's the latest? Yeah, the storm is looking a little bit stronger in the latest model runs and the snow may last a little bit longer. This is especially for South Jersey, the shore and portions of Delaware, where we're going to see the highest totals throughout this event and potentially for parts of Delaware, central and southern Delaware, where that winter storm warning is in effect. We could see over six inches of snow, so you're going to need to break out the big shovel in these areas. Future weather showing us this precipitation shield lifting up to the north and west, overspreading really the entire area by midnight tonight. That snow will be falling by the about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock hour in and around Philadelphia. Philadelphia as we head throughout the overnight period. Steady light snow for most of us. Now some models as this one is reflecting seeing some drier air building in from the north kind of eroding some of that precipitation. That's not a guarantee. And then as we head into tomorrow morning, I think this is the time frame of concern. So the latest model run showing us we could even see a period of brief heavy snowfall talking about Philly, immediate suburbs, South Jersey and certainly portions of Delaware as we head into the morning hours, maybe even into midday where we could pick up a quick one to two inches and then things started to taper off for most of us as we head into the second half of the day tomorrow. But this snow and even a little bit of rain mixing will persist likely along the coast. And then of course talking about Delaware once again, that snow lasting the longest for you before starting to wrap up as we head into Sunday night. And then by Monday, things quickly coming to an end and we turn it over to sunshine. So we won't have to worry about any falling precipitation for our Monday morning commute. So your latest snowfall forecast to the north. This is going to be really a non event for you. Watch out though for slick roads coating to two inches in and around the city, two to four inches with the higher end totals off to the south and east and then portions of Delaware could see four to six plus inches by the time this wraps up Sunday night. So plan on snowfall, steady light snow tonight, dropping back to 26 degrees for our day tomorrow. Periods of snow, high temperature at 34 degrees. So that snow will be a little bit heavier in nature with that temperature closer to the freezing mark than the type of snow we'll see overnight tonight. As we head into Monday, turning sunny, no problems. 36 degrees. We're near average by Tuesday with a lot of sunshine. Nice and quiet as we head into the rest of the week and then watching out for another potential storm system for next week. So, Lauren, you know, we're making out pretty easy, most of our area, but Delaware, you're going to have to be like yeah. on, on, on alert with that shovel, for as you sure. mentioned. Yeah. The big shovel, right? Yeah. And go